In our spiritual work, we need to make a distinction between what we get from the Creator, because everything comes from Him, but still we have to divide it in two. Because we are in the will to receive, the great will to receive, within which there is a point in the heart, a spark, the beginning of the soul. Therefore, everything that comes to us from the Creator should be divided in two. That it acts in respect to the will to receive, the body as we call it, our ego, and in respect to our soul. In respect to the purpose of creation, to grow this point so that it resembles the Creator more and more, that it rises from degree to, the, to degree. And therefore, in the place where the wicked falter, the righteous are happy and they ascend. Uh, the wicked and the righteous uh, refers to the good inclination, bad inclination, evil inclination rather. And therefore, it may be that a person who doesn't belong to God's work is crying, he has heaviness in his life. And another one who doesn't take it as something against him personally, but rather against his egoistic desire, he sees it as a means to ascend to the Creator, because in that way the Creator awakens him, helping him annul his ego and to adhere from the point in the heart to the Creator. And so, we, therefore, need to regard every step we take in our lives, because we are in a state where the Creator is taking care of us in a personal manner, meaning that He sends to each and every one disruptions, Let's call them disruptions uh, for now, such that if a person ascribes what he receives from the Creator, these disruptions, these unpleasant bestowals which the Creator sends in order to help one repress his evil inclination, then the person is happy. Because now he has the opportunity to ascribe what he receives, this unpleasant influence on his will to receive, and from the point in the heart to try to adhere to the Creator, to rise it, to raise it to the Creator more and more, and to adhere to his Creator. So it follows that all of the disruptions that we receive are not disruptions. Rather, there are clarion calls for us to impart our power, our powers in the right direction and to adhere to the Creator. And what we feel as unpleasant comes specifically against our will to receive. It shows us that it is still in us and it comes to repress it. And we don't need to fight against it, but only to divide, to sieve, to sift the, the, the influence of the Creator in this way. Uh, what comes, which is bad, is aimed against our will to receive, and the good way is to help us rise to the Creator and adhere to Him from the point in the heart. And therefore, in the place where the righteous walk, the wicked falter. In a place where one understands that he doesn't need to fight, but instead that it's the Creator who sends these disruptions. He's already fighting. That is the war. 
And there is no cruel person in the house of the king, such that you need to fight someone, but only to ascribe these things that come from above to our ego in order to repress it more. And opposite that, to elevate the point in the heart. And if a person divides himself in half, and in that way keeps growing this point in him and repressing his ego, he sees that the Creator is doing the work and it's called the Creator's work, God's work, and the Creator is waging the war. And the Lord will finish for me. He will do everything. I only need to be aware every time, to, to correctly diagnose, to correctly organize, to sort the Creator's influence in how it relates to my ego and in how it invites the point in the heart to come closer to Him. So, what's recommended is to pay attention to the fact that all of the unpleasant things only invite us to repress our egos and to elevate the point in the heart. And one should always divide himself in half. There is the will to receive, the egoistic will to receive, which needs to be repressed, uh, removed from use, restricted. And there is the point in the heart, which on every opportunity, one needs to be drawn after it to adhesion. <laughs> 